they don't they don't drink they don't say nothing and it says now the babylonians had an idol called Baal, and and there were sent were spent upon him every day 12 great measures of fine flour 40 sheep six vessels of wine and the king worshipped it and went daily to adore it but daniel worshipped his own power which he was worshiping uh yahweh man it says and who have created the heaven and earth and have have sovereignty over all flesh that's who daniel worshiped the heavenly father it says then said the king unto him thinkest thou not that Baal is a living power seest thou not much how much he eateth and drinketh every day because they were putting that food in there and he was like see how much he eating every day check this out then Daniel smiled and said O king be not deceived for this is but clay within a brass without and did and did and did never eat or drink anything right so he's telling him that statue ain't never ate or drunk nothing man so the king was wroth and called for his priests and said unto them if if ye tell me not who this is that devoured these expenses ye shall die but if ye can certify me that Baal devoured them then Daniel shall die for he has spoken blasphemy against Baal and Daniel said unto the king let it let it be according to thy word now the priests of Baal were three score and ten besides besides uh, their wives and children and the king went and Daniel went into the temple of Baal so Baal's priests said lo we go out but thou king set on the meat and make ready the wine and shut the door fast and seal it with thine own sig signal signal and tomorrow when thou comest in if thou findest not that Baal has eaten up uh, eaten up all we have suffered we will suffer death or else Daniel that speaketh falsely against us so now it's me or you now who's going to be the more of the wise it says and they and they little regarded it for under the table they had made a private entrance whereby they entered in continually and consumed those things so the people had an entrance up under the statue when they would put the food out they would go in there and get get the food and it says so when they were gone forth the king set meat before Baal now Daniel had commanded his servants to bring ashes and those they 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 uh strewed throughout strode throughout all the temple in the presence of the king alone then they went out and shut the door and sealed it with the king's signet so they departed now in the night came the priests with their wives and children and they were wanted to do they did eat and drink up all so hey those 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 statues they don't eat or drink that bell statue was just there it was made with hands man just like Deuteronomy said the people were eating that food in the morning bedtime the king arose and Daniel with him and the king said Daniel are the seals whole and he said yeah O king they are whole and as soon as they opened the door the king looked upon the table and cried with a loud voice great art thou O Baal and with thee is no deceit at all right and he says then laughed Daniel and held the king that he should not go in and said behold now the pavement and mark well whose footsteps are these and the king said I see the footsteps of men women and children and then the king was angry and took the priests with their wives children was showed him the private doors where they came in and consumed such things that were up on the table therefore the king slew them and delivered Baal unto Daniel's power who destroyed him and his temple and that's what you're supposed to do to them idols you're supposed to destroy them idols man you know you're supposed to destroy them idols so those it says those idols don't talk or nothing See, that's what Jake and them be in there talking about they be into the Quran. They not into it, man. They just they just trying to fit in with, with a lot of bullshit. But Jake and them ain't into the Quran, man. When you go on the other side, them Sunnis and the Shiites are killing each other. 
And they look at they look at the Muslims in the states like you ain't no real Muslim, man. They know they know you're an Israelite. So the nations they laugh at your ass, man, under their breath, man, because you don't have no knowledge, man. It says Deuteronomy 4, 28, and and they and there ye shall serve gods and work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thine heart and with all thine soul, when thou art in tribulation, and all these are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy power, and shall be obedient of his voice, for the Lord thy power is a merciful power. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swore unto them. So if you if you come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, and seek the heavenly Father, he, he he gonna be merciful on you, man. But if you don't, guess what's gonna happen? You gonna die, man, through thermonuclear destruction. This Isaiah, because he didn't, he was saying he didn't think it was gonna be destroyed by fire. We know we know it's plenty of them scriptures. He just a, hey, a lost soul, man. He had his chance, probably. And if he don't repent, hey, he gonna die. This is Isaiah 9 and 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and the garments roll in blood. So every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, because you have, when you wish to go to battle, what you do, you, you hear the horses coming over the land from afar, and you see them that they're preparing for that great battle, man. The, the, the clanging of swords and, and shields and the screaming of men dying. That confused noise. It says, and garments roll in blood because when the war be over, there's plenty of dead bodies be laying around in the wars. And it says, and it says, uh, and, but this shall be the burning and the fuel of fire. This is going to be a burning and a fuel of fire, man. Thermonuclear destruction. This is this is it right here. This is this is America's next. This is the next big thing right here. Man. This thermonuclear destruction. You think them? You think those guys are just making those damn nukes to sit in a damn fucking museum? You are sadly mistaken. Every time you turn on the news now, you got the president is going. He's talking shit to China, Iran, and Russia. And you better know what you're doing when you talk shit to the Russians, because those are not no regular people to play with. Russians are serious people, man. And they're making these thermonuclear missiles. They're going to go thermonuclear. That's going to be the next war. It's not going to be no, uh, well, we're going to go over to the desert for like 10 months and just set up. It's not going to be there, man. It tells you in the pocket for that, that your, your women, your, the women going to be wi widows, man. Because that next war, if they go over there, a lot of them young kids are gonna not coming back. You know? And the, and the scriptures tell you. These people are building these weapons, thermonuclear weapons, man. These ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles are shooting. And it says, uh, you know, hey man, Jake, Jake and them, they have no clue, man. Jake talking about it's gonna be a revelation. He think Esau just gonna get give, give the kingdom up. It says, Behold, I create the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire that bringeth forth the instrument of his work, and I have created the waster to destroy it. So it's Yahweh Shem Shai that has the scientists create these, put this plutonium and this uranium together to create uh, 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 bombs, man. He created the waster. He had them to create the waster to destroy it. Them same bombs they're building, the Lord is going to have them to shoot on each other. That's how the Lord is going to destroy America. Uh, when you read in uh, Amos, the ninth chapter, he said he's going to destroy the sinful kingdom from off the face of the earth. But he would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob because we have, we have a remnant in America that has to be saved, man. And the Lord is going to bring that thermonuclear destruction. You know, if he was stuck around, I was going to ask him, how do you explain this right here? Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord, Yahweh will come as a thief in the night. 
And how does a thief come when you're not aware? And that's what that's that's the attitude you have. That's the way of the people now. They walk around, they have no clue, man. They walk around in La La Land, man. And the Lord gonna catch them off guard. It says, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, that noise of thermonuclear destruction. And elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything you see in, 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 in this city is made up of an element, just like in every other city. Even the people are made up of elements, man. You just type in the composition of the body, it's gonna give you elements that your body is made of. The elements gonna melt with fervent heat. And it says, the earth also and the works there shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So you should be of integrity, man. And that Jake didn't have no integrity, man. He wouldn't even keep his foot in the house of the Lord. He didn't know what was going on. All he know is he, what he see me doing, and he seen the other brothers, you probably seen uh, the brothers up, uh, up the street, probably walk by them one Saturday evening. Because he down here being homeless in this in this town, man. They walk around. So he's already seen them brothers. If, and if he stopped to talk, I'm pretty sure he got a fair warning. Through the spirit power, you have Hashem Yahushai. I know he got this fair warning. Now he come here, he got the next fair warning. And the Lord is no respect of persons when you read in Romans the second chapter. So that dude could actually get his ass killed like tonight. He don't know how strong the Lord is. Because the Lord will show you his power, just like he showed the Egyptians. When he, when he when Israel left, he had all that water crushed him and drowned him. Just like he's going to show these Americans his power again. We are in captivity. He's going to bring the Israelites out of America. Thermonuclear destruction, man. It says in the presence of the angels and in, 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 in the Lamb. They're going to be outside in the stratosphere, in the sky, watching the destruction of America. And beaming certain brothers up, man. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, man. You know? So with that, man, hey, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhan Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, man. You know? Shalawan Wakasad Laha Bakar Bakaya. You know, with that, a Baba Ba, a Baba Ba, a Bada Wamyum, a Bada Wamyum. Mawakla Babylon, Mawakla Babylon, Shalawan.